Hello friends and welcome to Friday Night Files. Today we're checking out a game called Chernobyl Liquidators. This game really went under my radar. I did not see this coming. I heard nothing about it. But it looks effing awesome. It is a, you know, a hybrid between a firefighting game and with some survival elements to it. It is, you know, after the Chernobyl disaster and you are there to fight the fire and a lot of evacuation stuff i'm not sure why it's called chernobyl i'm pretty sure it's chernobyl yeah with an e and not an o but who cares let's go ahead and check out this game Guess we have some cutscene going on here. It is so loud, though. <laughs> Damn, it's loud. It's loud as hell. <laughs> Did they bring him from? There has been some fire at the power plant. Get away. I from the power plant.
what an epic opening cutscene. And it was so sad as well, you know. Like in the beginning you could see, you know, the people disintegrating, you know. Wow. Strong stuff. Strong stuff. Let's see if I can turn down the volume a little more. <laughs> soon as I can. Here we are. W, S, A, D. Yep. That's pretty standard stuff. To run, hold it down, shift. Yep. Like in every other game. Why is this so loud? I did put it more than halfway down. We'll take it down a notch more. See if this is good or if this is too much. Here we are. The Chernobyl reactor is no more. What a disastrous disaster this was. You know? Health. It symbolizes the liquidator's ability to survive, expressed in hit points, negative effects on the body, such as wounds, burns, radiation, etc. Reduce your HP. To restore it, use appropriate measures such as a first aid kit or bandages. Burns. Effects of energy on living organisms. It leads to tissue damage. Depending on the severity, it can also cause them to die. The main cause of burns is fire, yeah no shit, and to a lesser extent other factors such as electricity or chemicals. Divide it into three degrees, uh, one epidermal damage, two dermi damage, three subcutaneous tissue damage, symbolized by the fire icon visible in the lower left corner. Burns affects the liquidator's health points and increase stress. To treat burns, use bandages. Stamina. It symbolizes the liquidator's ability to undertake increased physical effort. Fatigue as a result of performing strenuous physical activities reduces stamina. To slow it down, you should use appropriate measures, such as caffeine tablets. After stopping physical activity, stamina slowly returns to normal. It is possible to speed up the process by using adrenaline. Okay. So there's this is where all the survival element comes into into play. To interact, approach the object and press E. Yeah. I know. Hey boss. Are you the boss? Grab the hole and help the guys from the third block put out the fire in the rubble. Right away, you You are mumbling, boss. I can't hear you. Manage your inventory, press I. Oh, fire hose. Use the fire hose, equip it in a numerical slot, 1 through 9, and press the corresponding key, 1 through 9. Next, while holding left mouse button, open the water valve and use mouse to direct the jet to the desired spot. The jet strength can be adjusted using left mouse button and right mouse button. In order to use the fire hose, it must be connected to a water source. Remember, after completing the firefighting operation, disconnect the hose, otherwise it will prevent you from moving longer distances. Okay. I guess it's all these small fires we have to... We have to put out. Now we should... I should put the fire hose into a quick slot. We also have a radio, let's put that on zero. And here's the radiation, stress, stamina and health. And luckily we have some stuff here to, to help us aid with that kind of stuff. Let's put out the fire. So, we said we could adjust. Uh, okay, I don't know. I could adjust the... The water spraying. Okay. 
That fire is out. I think, yeah. A little bit here, left. Ah. Ah, okay, we can adjust it like so. Let's just put it to max, because why not? Isn't it still really, really loud? <laughs> it's extremely loud. Put out the fire, please. If that fire is done. I have one here as well. There has been some great firefighting games come out, but this one, I think, takes the cake. So can we take our hose back? Yep. Hopefully we can find uh, another source over here somewhere. Do we have here? Hello? I can put on this side. Let's put out the fire. That fire is out. Do we have any more right here? Oh, over there, but can we... Can we get that far? Let's see. We can. There we go. There's no more fire here for us to, to extinguish. Let's take the hose. Oh, our radio is blinking in the, the left corner. Hello? How do I speak into it? Or listen? Alright. Open the journal. Press J. To truck number two. Okay, so we need more water in into these trucks. To restore water pressure in fire trucks, you should connect them using a hydrant. First, connect the hose to the hydrant, then connect it to the fire truck, marked with a ribbon, with the appropriate color matching the ribbon on the hydrant. Okay. So here we have a blue ribbon. Let's put it on the blue ribbon on the truck we have here. There we go. All done, boss. Oh, we have one over here as well. Do we have one more with a red ribbon? Okay. I guess we have multiple hoses in our backpack. Or wherever we <laughs> we have it. Boss is on the radio again. Hey boss. I will be careful. Take shovel and cutters from the fire truck. Okay. We are entering the building, I, I guess. We use the shovel, equip it in a numerical slot, one through nine. Blah blah blah. The next 
The next step, aim at the object and use the left mouse button key. By properly balancing the shovel, you can move the object to the desired place and throw it off the shovel using right mouse button. Okay. How are we doing? No stress, no radiation. We are doing fine. So, let's put the shovel in slot number two. We have some kind of marker here. Okay. To jump, face space. Thank you. Okay, I guess we have to shovel this thing here, whatever it is. We didn't get it. <laughs> okay. A little bit closer. We get it now? Yeah. And now we have to balance the shovel. Seems like it balances itself. Oh, is this radioactive? It is radioactive. What does help against radiation? Chocked with a little girl on packaging, popped her all over, blah blah blah. That does not help on radiation. Mitigate radiation effects. So we have some one iodine to do that. But I don't think we need it right now. I guess this is some I don't know, radioactive coal or something. That we are shoveling here. Enter the rubble and find the Find the best spot to fire fight, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah, yep. Okay, boss is on the radio. Hello boss. Oh I can see that on that icon we are getting radiated. No? Look in the lower left corner. I think it looks like we are getting radiation. That's not good. Uh, okay. A crowbar and the ball cutter. We are supposed to get up there. Okay, we've got to extinguish this fire first. Do we have a hydrant here somewhere? Yeah, we do. I can't jump, but... I can't jump. I can't get further than this. Then how am I supposed to get up to that fire? Well... Ah, I can maybe put on the truck. Can we reach it now? We can. Come on, fire. And now we have a heart icon as well. So we are losing health. Oh, we are. Radiation and stress and health, everything's going down. Let's see if we can do something to mitigate that. We are dying. There's blood on our screen and everything. Ah. Midgear radiation effect. Tent wounds. I don't think we have any wounds though. Do we have any burns? I don't know. Doesn't say, right? 
What the F is this? Uh, let's try and use this. See if it helps. It did. But that's the only one we had. Now we're only very stressed. Hopefully we can survive this. Hmm? I don't know what that other icon is. It doesn't say. How did I see... Uh I don't know. Where did I see the tutorial stuff? Here. Ah, okay. That doesn't tell me much. I want to know what all these icons mean. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have more fires. Maybe find another... Another route. No? I have to put this fire out as well. Damn it! Can we even go that far with the hose? I don't think we can, right? Maybe I do need to find another route. Okay, so far so good. Okay, we can reach it. Come on now. Look mom, I'm a hero. I'm putting out fire for Chernobyl. <laughs> Let's make sure we are not dying <laughs> in the process. Come on now. What? Am I dead? What's going on? Lord Mirivanovich Tishura. We died. Holy crap, man. Acute radiation. Sickness syndrome. We died of radiation. Okay, now we are another guy, I guess. Find the way to the roof. Okay, I guess we are not supposed to die but now we have all now we have all the same stuff huh okay we have skins for all these things because we had the supporter pack okay <laughs> so maybe th that just tells us that some of us died I don't know Also, we are still attached. No. And let's move on. Find our way to the roof. Yeah, I can't jump up there. Really? Why not? I need to find another way then. this way around now oh, we have a ladder here though I think dying is a part of this game because sadly so many 
So many rescue workers died. Either when when doing this firefighting and evacuating people. But also after, you know, for, from radiation poisoning and... And people still can't live in Pripyat to this day. And this here happened in 1986, I believe. In the summer of 1986. was right the year before I was born. <laughs> Find a way to the roof. I'll definitely try. How is our health doing? We are very stressed. We have some alcohol for that. <laughs> we have nothing that helps against stress, right? Nope. Just have to truck around. Find our way. Okay, let's turn out the... Turn out. Let's extinguish these fires. See a fire hydrant here. What a sad, sad day this was. And it was human error that caused it all. know that reference you're a legend fire 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 Can't walk any further. Hopefully, we can reach from here. We can. What is that lighting over here? Oh, is that some kind of. Uh, what are they called? Um, oh, what the F are they called? Isotope or something? A radiated isotope. I guess it is. Would make sense. Okay, let's find our way to the roof. Find another way to the next roof. Okay. Oh, we are going back. Couldn't go that way, I guess. See if we can find another way around here, somehow. Think all, think all these yellow strips is where we can parkour ourselves up there. Get inside the building. Are you serious? <laughs> and now I guess this guy died. No? We're just very sick, but we have no radiation, we are just stressed. Okay, let's continue. Do I just jump down here? Is this the right way? I don't know. Doesn't really look like the right way. Eh? 
so dark here. Do we have... Oh, we have a flashlight. That will come in handy. I can't get that way around. How the F... Ah, maybe this way. Can we jump over here? Oh. <coughs> oh, this is the same place we were just before. How the F do we get over all this rubble here? Okay, this is not the correct way then. Need to find another way. Ah, oh, here maybe. We have a bolt cutter. thing is really falling apart, right? Are we going... Are we going back again? This can't be right. How do, F do we get over there, man? Not jump that way. That's that's for sure. Can I jump up here? No. How do we get over there, friends? Can't I pass here somehow? Oh shit! I guess we are. But that's just our stamina, okay. Which way am I supposed to go? I couldn't go that way. Can we jump up here? Maybe? No? What the F? can't go back, it must be this way somehow. I really don't see an obvious route over there. Can we go this way? I feel like we've been here before as well, yeah. Yeah, we busted through here just earlier. Surely must be this way. Yeah? Ah, we have a ladder over here. Okay. And then what? Oh, then we jump over to this ledge. Yep. Oh, oh, shh. Damn it. <laughs> this is the newest one, yeah? Yeah, it must be. Or I guess this will be episode number one. If you like this game, if you want me to, to play it some more, leave a like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Until next time. Bye bye. <laughs>